song, I think, has always been a little special in, for Singaporeans. There's always been a negative image. It's all about the, you know, the sex or the food. But actually, it's very, very rich in its built heritage in terms of lots of conservation buildings and also its cultural heritage because you've got a lot of these old trades that still exist here. It all started when we met the owners of these shop houses. And there are eight conservation shop houses um, all in a row on the same street, which is Lauren 24A. And, um, when we came to the street, this street in particular in Geelong is really quite quaint. It's very, um, it doesn't have the red light activity. It's got cultural associations, it's got old um, TCM shops. So this street is something that we felt was rather special and we could do a special project with it. Because this is our built heritage, it gives us a sense of identity. It gives us a link to the past. Uh, and so, you know, we should be, you know, respectful and, and, and appreciative of that. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that you can't interact with it. It can actually still be adapted to be part of modern life, just like these shop houses, you see. In particular for this project, uh, because of its location, um, it also proved to be quite a challenge because of the image of uh, its neighborhood. So we, I think, in addition to actually building these things, we also had to change, I think, people's perception of the area to kind of invite them to come in and experience the project as well. We basically, most of these shop houses in, in this project, well, all of them actually, we retain the front half, um, the front roof, the front, a lot of the front old timber boards and things. Um, the stuff that, that is new is actually the back half. So, you know, for example, this bit here, it's all um, a new build. Um, most of these old conservation shop houses back in, when they were first built, they all had these little light wells and courtyards, which then allowed you know, natural ventilation and natural light to come into the spaces. And so in this project, we tried to reinstate this feature in most of the shop houses. And so the point is that, you know, once you put something like this in, the space doesn't feel long and narrow. With Eleven, um, that was done by Ling Hao Architects. And the approach was very, um, very quiet, very zen, and we kept everything really simple. Uh, so, so you enter the house and it's white walls, you can see the original timber um, ceiling. It's all really quite quiet. It feels a bit like a gallery, and then you move into this space, and the central feature is a central, it's like a central courtyard. And the staircase basically moves around this courtyard. The other feature was to put a lot of greenery in this place as well and so the overall effect is, uh, is one of bringing in um, the outside space into the inside. 21 is vastly different. I think 21 is probably the most luxurious of the lot. You're basically greeted by the full length of the shop house, very clean. Uh, it's old brick up the sides. We basically kept all the old, old exposed brick and Along half the entire length of the shop house, there's a massive swimming pool. Then you ascend the stairs um, and you go upstairs to a mezzanine sort of area. And you really, I think, get a sense of um, the voluminous composition of, of, of this piece. What I like is uh, the uniqueness of this house, you know. I walked in this house and I just thought, that's it, right? It's kind of love at first sight. I think the, the first thing is really, you see the outside, right, which is like, the same than all the other 25 or so next to it. So it's the old style. And then you open the door and you go like, wow, right? It's a surprise because super modern inside meets the old of the outside. I think that's the whole point of this project. Is it's really to get as many people involved as possible um, in the project. 
We deliberately designed the spaces so that they could be used in a flexible way. Um, they're all residential, but um, I think the point is just we wanted to design spaces to accommodate different types of tenant needs. We want to invite people to experience this project and the spaces that we've created so that they can sort of build their own memories and experiences. And we kind of hope that that will inform their decisions on conservation going forward.